Alright guys, what's going on? So, this is a tutorial on how to set up PlayStation 4 Remote Play. This is in-home, and this is for the PC. Not going to get into the Sony Xperia or the PS Vita, anything like that. So, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up, go to your settings, go down, past it. go to Remote Play Connection Settings. Make sure that it is enabled right here. Make sure that's checked. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to add device. I'm currently using it on my PC so I can do this video for you guys. Uh, so what you do is you'll click on that. It'll actually give you a code for your PlayStation and in some cases when you're setting up the app it is uh, necessary for you to use that. Then you're going to want to Google PS4 Remote Play PC. Don't worry about this one. This one just literally gives you all the instructions on how to do it. Simple. Then you go here takes right here gives you the Windows and the Mac whichever you know PC you have Then you go click on it you'll download it I've already got it downloaded here so let's take a look go ahead and close that so here's what it looks like when it's downloaded you'll open it up give you this now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take your uh, DualShock 4 controller and take the charging cable from the PlayStation and plug it into your PC make sure it's long enough so you can actually comfortably play um, that's not the only way you can connect it. Another way you can connect as well is if you hold down the PlayStation button and the capture button at the same time, uh, hold it for about three seconds, the front of the controller will start to flash white. That means that it's actually ready to be paired for Bluetooth. And then you can also connect it via Bluetooth to your PC as well. Um, so then once you get that done, you can go to your settings. You can go ahead and sign into the PlayStation Network so it can remember your ID. Here's where you can select your resolution, depending on your bandwidth uh, on your computer and on your PlayStation. I mean, preferably you'd be hardwired for both and have at least 50 to 100 megabytes per second internet. Uh, currently, I have the Gigablast, so I, over Wi-Fi, I get at least 300. Um, but you go to that, click on this, gives you some information. You also, I prefer higher frame rates. You don't want a clipping or anything, especially if you're going to be using it to record on your PC or anything like that. And then you'd go ahead and click OK. And then you click Start once it's ready to go. Now, if you're on the same local network, it'll be a lot quicker like this. Show a little home, and then bam, there you go. Barely any delay at all. Uh, but you shouldn't really run into any problems at all. All right, guys. Well, good luck with it.